welcome back to Johnson Branch Farm. My name is Rachel. Today I am getting ready for spring. My mind keeps going to places of abundance where the garden is growing and the harvest is plentiful because right now we are in the dead of winter. And speaking of winter, I have a winter garden update for you at the end of this video. I really enjoy the use of a soil blocker when starting my seeds. I find that the plants grow better and it is just an easy sort of therapeutic process. The only thing that can be a little tricky when using a soil blocker is making sure that your soil consistency is right. You don't want it too wet, but you don't want it too dry. And sometimes find that perfect spot in between just takes practice. Here is what I'm growing in my Zone 7 Spring Garden located in the mountains of North Georgia. Cabbage has proven to be a little tricky around here, but so far Savoy and the Violacio de Verona cabbage have proven to be good growers. I am still determined to try Napa cabbage despite many failed attempts, <laughs> but I am also adding the early Jersey Wakefield as well as a purple cabbage. I wouldn't have a garden without Swiss chard, and I'm also trying artichokes for the first time. Being that we live in the south, collards are a must have, and I've also found that bok choy is a great green to grow in case you have a hard green season. <laughs> I am also determined to add rhubarb again this year. Beets have also been a tricky grower for me this year, so instead of direct sowing them in the garden like I have been, I'm trying the Charles Dowding method and I'm going to sow multiple beets in one cell and then go ahead and transfer them out into the garden as seedlings. I'm also growing celery, kohlrabi, broccoli, kale, and different types of lettuce that can be harvested as heads and given away to friends. My onions that I started this last fall did not do well this winter like they did last year, so I am going to try again for a spring crop. 
I am also going to be adding a lot of leeks to the garden because I have found that they worked as a great pest deterrent around my greens last year. garden from the snow but it didn't hold up and some things have made it through the cold temperatures without a problem. The cabbage, kale, spinach, garlic all seem to be doing well out there. But there were some things that just couldn't hold on any longer. And that's okay. Spring is right around the corner and they'll be back once again. Thank you for watching and may the Lord bless and keep you until we meet again.